Today I'm going to show you how to create keyword ads for your books on Amazon. To start with, we're going to go to advertising.amazon.com.co.uk or wherever your marketplace is that you're serving ads in. As I mentioned before, if you've not set this up yet, you'll have to fill in a few details, but once you've done that, you'll be taken to your advertising console, which looks like this. In the previous video, we set up some product ads, but today we're gonna to create a keyword ad. So that is going through the exact same process as before, where we click on create a campaign, and then we click sponsored product campaign type. For this one, I'm gonna do a custom text ad so you can see what that looks like but all you need to do is search for your book, add the product that you want to run your ads for, and then continue down below. Again, this ad is manual targeting, but this time we're doing keywords. So Amazon will give you some, some suggested keywords based on your product information. So if we scroll down here, this Santa short story has given us some random keywords, but I like to enter my own list. Again, you need to set your own bid, Keywords tend to be more expensive than product ads, so I'm gonna go for 51 cents here. And then you've got your match types. So, say if I did horror short story. Exact means that someone's typed that exact search term in. Phrase is very similar, but it will also show plurals. So horror short story might include things like horror short story, short story horror, etc. Whereas if we look here, the broad match basically expands the keyword somewhat. It may also include singulars, plurals, variations, synonyms, and related terms determined by Amazon. So that one search term there for horror short story, the broad match might include things like scary short stories because it's very similar. And one way you can track the effectiveness of this is just by including all three match types. We've added two keywords on broad, phrase, and exact matches. Now the negative keyword targeting can be quite useful for keyword ads. So my book, for example, is for adults. So I don't want this to show up as Christmas short story for kids. So I can include things like kids and children in here. That can be quite useful to make sure you're targeting the right searches and you're not getting redundant clicks that aren't gonna to lead to purchase. Now, if you've done a custom text ad like we've done here, you've got the opportunity to write your own text. And so I've just turned off my ad blocker because that blocks this ad preview. But if you enter your custom ad text, then below you'll see an example of what your ad will look like. So here's the example of what my keyword ad will look like with custom ad text. Then we come down to the bidding strategy, which is either up and down, down only or fixed bids. The same as the product ads, we're gonna go with down only because I wanna limit the amount that I can spend. So the down only will take my 51 cent bid and that will be the max bid it will do for any keyword. Whereas the up and down could double that to twice the amount. Also, what we're gonna do here is adjust my bids by placement. So if we're coming up at the top of page one, I don't mind paying a little bit more money. So I'm gonna bid an extra 50% on top of my 51 cents if we can appear at the top of search. That kind of top placement tends to be where most customers will buy their products. So in my opinion, it's always worthwhile considering boosting your bids a little bit for that placement. Then you need to give your campaign a name and a start date and an end date. You can select a daily budget. We're gonna just go with $10 to get this one going. And then you can click launch campaign. And that's it, our keyword campaign is launched effectively. It's quite simple once you know what you're doing. Over time, this becomes second nature and you'll have a lot more experience of what works for your books and what doesn't seem to work. But if I've missed anything out on this video, make sure to drop your comments below and I'll be happy to respond. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.